Hello everybody. Welcome back to Days Off. I'm uh, starting this one out a little bit different. Uh, it's actually Friday right now and I have to work in a couple of hours. It's early morning and I'm running down to the border uh, in Sumas, Washington to grab car parts uh, from my ship to the border place. Anyway, so I've got a set of RTR mufflers and RTR chin splitter there. Hopefully ride tech uh, suspension is on the way for the car because I really have like one day Monday to get it done <laughs> and if it's not there I mean not taking the verdict for my birthday all right well the GoPro is gonna die but as you can see behind me that's a lot of boxes for three things anyway I gotta get to work so I'll see you guys tomorrow which will be Saturday around 6 o'clock and we will begin days off for real <laughs> Hello everybody. It is now the proper time to say welcome back to days off <laughs> because I'm off work. It's Saturday evening. Just loading up my stuff in the newly facelifted verdict with its RTR Spec 2 chin spoiler. That took me all night to do. I'm super tired. Not gonna lie, tonight will probably be me passing out. <laughs> but we'll have a fun ride home. I'll give you guys the lowdown about what we're doing uh, tomorrow as well. Story of my life. All right, uh, I guess I'm getting gas and then heading home. So really quickly, tomorrow I'm sort of working because we're having a cars and coffee here at the dealership. So that means I'm gonna be here filming and taking photos for the majority of the morning. And once done with that, we will continue with days off. But at the very least, we will get some cool shots of some Porsche stuff and uh, throw the video for you guys. If you're local, I hope to see you there. Anyway. Get to the gas station before I run out. <laughs> Yay, I have gas. All right, let's uh, cruise on back to the house and probably fall asleep. But I got some, uh, I got some ammunition for tonight. Oh my God. My brain is probably gonna explode, but whatever. All right, let's get today's off. Quick lay of the land for the weekend. Ooh. As you can see, I'm pretty tired tonight already. Uh, it's probably gonna end up being me passing out after I film this part, so don't get your hopes up for anything Saturday. Tomorrow, uh, it's Porsche Langley's Cars and Coffee. I actually have to work in the morning, so it's kind of like a half day off or whatever. Um, I'm just gonna be filming and taking pictures, so it's not really like work, it's actually kind of fun. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So I'll bring you guys along for that. I'll get you some cool shots of some neat cars, whatever's there, and I'll just have my GoPro handy. Um, last night, I got the front lip done. It was a hassle. It took me until almost two in the morning. Um, I got like four and a half hours sleep and then went to work again. Um, but it's done. And on Monday, we have Ride Tech suspension coming for this. So Monday morning, we're coming in here, moving out Fuji. Mustang going up, everything suspension wise getting disconnected and dropped out. And then we are doing a single coilover conversion in the rear and replacing the coilovers in the front. It's gonna be pretty awesome. And the car is gonna ride so much better. All the squeaks and clunks are gonna go away and I'm gonna love it again. <laughs> anyway, Fuji wise, uh, maybe we'll get to this this weekend. Don't hold me to it, but off camera, I started working a bit on the hood. Um, I was trying to revive paint on here a little bit. Kind of the same deal as the roof. It just, there were some spots that went through. So we have that going on. And uh, I sanded down where these dents were and I'm actually gonna fill those in. Uh, and there's one more right here that you can't really see. So I'm gonna fill in the dents and then I'm probably just gonna end up uh, fogging the whole thing with black paint again. And uh, maybe we'll slowly just kind of pick at each panel. And when we get each panel perfect, we'll go ahead and paint it. And then eventually we'll 
redo it all with a nice yellow. Anyway, that's a bit far-fetched, so... Anyway, I'm gonna go see what Kat's up to, and then maybe we'll go have some food or something. Maybe go for a drive later, I don't know. Probably gonna end up just passing out. Regardless, whatever I do, I'll flick on the camera, and you guys will see it. So, catch up with you in a little bit. Good morning, friends. Welcome back. Um, it's about 7.30 and I'm getting ready to go down to Portia Langley uh, to shoot and make some video for it. So on top of that, I'll have my GoPro and we'll take some, you know, nice shots of some Porsches and whatever cool cars show up there. It's an open doll make some models event, so should be a lot of fun. And then uh, after that, the day is pretty well open, so Maybe there'll be some driving or who knows. But regardless, let's load up right now and uh, head down to Langley. All right, we're just setting up for cars and coffee now. I, uh, some guy showed up in a Mustang. It was like doing donuts right on the lot. Anyway. <laughs> So basically I'll just carry you guys along and anything cool we see, we'll, uh, we'll snap it. I'm gonna be on the Ronin and the 70D for Langley and I'll be on my GoPro for days off. Should be a fun morning. home to see Kat because I've barely seen her this week and uh, I'd like to spend some time with my wife. So we're gonna get home and uh, upload some footage, take some pictures off and uh, go do some shopping and stuff. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Pretty gloomy day up ahead. The cloud looks so sick right now though. I'm heading home right now and Kat and I are gonna go grab some coffee and hang out and do some uh, couple stuff because really Buddy. Scooby Doo! Where are you? Banner. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. Hey, get off her. Fight her.
That should about do it. I'm gonna grab more uh, black primer while we're at it. Wherever it is. Then we'll go home and fill some scratches and dents and get purdy. Ah, look at Cat's car. Needs a good wash. Food time. on the hood of uh, Fuji here and then tomorrow uh, ride tech suspension showing up for the Mustang FedEx tried to deliver it on Friday around 940 so I'm not sure if they're gonna be like doing it at a different time and we'll be waiting all day or if you know I'm gonna wake up have a coffee get the stuff that's in the Mustang out and then by the time that's done the ride tech's gonna be there who knows if that'll happen um, you know nothing ever goes as planned so I'm sure it'll be late, but if we have some time in between, I'm gonna primer the hood of Fuji, and then uh, that'll be taken care of for uh, the next one. Anyway, um, we're almost home, so I'll hook you guys back up when we're in the garage, maybe having a beer, and uh, doing some body work. Body man Stan tonight. Body man Andy? I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the toge run. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll probably go to bed or after this one, call it an early night, uh, just so I can get up, and, you know, first thing and get on the Mustang, get the suspension out, get it ready for the new ride tech stuff. So I'm gonna throw you in a time lapse. We're gonna mix up some body fill. Well, first, first we're gonna sand down the rest of the paint off of this dent, feather these ones out a bit more, and then we're gonna mix up some. some oh my god! And then we're gonna mix up some filler. Fill them in and uh, just kind of leave it dry. Maybe I'll just sand it off really quickly in the morning. So we're gonna do that and uh, then head to bed. <laughs> smoothly. Uh, the color is pretty decent. I think I got the right amount of hardener in there, which is good. Um, you'll notice I went kind of over the spots. All this is going to come off anyway, and it's just going to leave that little thing filled. Um, so yeah, not worried about it not sticking to the paint or anything. Uh, it'll definitely stick to the bare metal that it was left there, but yeah, I'm stoked. 
this will be, uh, I mean, it's a fairly decent, easy repair to do. And uh, we'll have a nice straight hood anyway. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I'm gonna let this harden up. We'll sand it down tomorrow um, in between working on the Mustang stuff. I'll see you guys when it's breakfast time. Have a good one. Good morning. Welcome to Monday, friends. Last night, um, off camera, I cut the Bondo down with some 80 grit just to get it, the majority of it off, and there it all is. <laughs> um, so that's pretty decent for now um, in terms of filler, so I don't need to do any more. I'm just gonna feather that out, get the edges nice and smooth, and then hopefully, uh, in the time between I take the suspension of the Mustang and the new stuff comes, uh, I'll just spray all that with some primer and we'll call it good for now because it's going to be raining the next couple days. So if I have to pull this in and out, it's going to get wet. I don't want that to happen. Anyway, moving on to the Mustang. So Ride Tech suspension is showing up as long as FedEx uh, isn't with me. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to basically get the Fuji done and outside, pull the Mustang into the center because there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen and I don't want to mess with like very little space over here. And it's just easier to get the whole thing up on jack stands, have a lot of space. So Fuji's going outside, Mustang's coming in the middle and uh, then we're gonna start tearing it apart. Hopefully the stuff shows up today <laughs> and I don't have my Mustang sitting on jack stands all week. <laughs> Always help the guy delivering your car parts. Look what's here. All right, Tech. Let's open them up. <gasps> Had the world's biggest headache today, so let's not get a farewell for productive activities. There's a whole lot of fun. Oh. This looks like a, a time-lapse amount of unpackaging, so we'll quickly clear off the bench a little more and unwrap this stuff, lay it all out. show you what all comes in this kit so starting from the left working our way right these are the rear sway bar relocation brackets because converting to a coilover makes the, the sway bar sit a little bit too close to the spring there's issues with contact so they just space it out um, and then these are the plates that replace the rear shock mount um, they just reinforce it you have to drill two holes uh, oh no sorry so you drill two holes and they come with these nut certs uh, that you um, cinch into the body and then it's a second mounting point, distributes the weight. Um, so all that is the rear shock mounting hardware and this goes in the control arm for the bottom. These are the springs for the rear coilovers which you have to assemble um, with all these rings and everything. And these of course are the front coilovers. These plates are friggin beefy like that is gorgeous that is just insane pictures never do these things qu like quite amount of justice like this is this is super high quality stuff yeah this is gonna work just fine 
I'm pretty stoked. This stuff looks amazing. All right, let's start ripping apart the car. Actually, you know what? Since uh, I spent all morning waiting for the FedEx guy, I didn't get to get a coffee yet, so I'm gonna go do that first. And then we'll tear apart the Mustang and get this installed. Oh, it's nice and hot. Oh, and my headache's gone. This is great. Okay, um, basically, throw you on a time lapse. We're gonna bust the wheels off, start taking everything apart, and uh, any little finer points, I'll just kind of bring back, talk to you guys, and we'll go back to time lapse because this is gonna be a long haul. I've only got today to do it, so I gotta make sure I leave plenty of time to get this done, get the rest of my errands done later on before I go back to work tomorrow. For my three day week, because <laughs> it's my birthday on Saturday, and I'm taking Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. That's right, four days off, two part episode coming up next. <laughs> anyway, let's get to this. this video gets a thousand likes, I'll f***ing smash my GoPro on camera because I am getting so fed up with it. Every two seconds this thing crashes and they have no updates for it. It's ridiculous. Anyway, enough pitching. This is all disassembled. Uh, I'm going to take this ABS sensor line out and then this guy's going to come out. Simple as that. Ta-da, she's out. torque the spindle nuts to 150 foot pounds which is the maximum for my high-tech Pittsburgh Harbor Freight torque wrench um, anyway top hat is tight um, I kind of put the camber same as I did before I just maxed it in uh, when we get the alignment done if we have to adjust it a little bit we will but I think everything is pretty well tightened up I'll show you guys the uh, sway bar and link so here we go so, this is a white line adjustable sway bar end link. And on one side, no movement, nothing. The other side, hear that click? It's not supposed to happen. It's supposed to be solid. So, this thing's pretty well blown. <laughs> Uh, they're not serviceable. There's no grease links or anything, grease or grease nipples or anything, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure that out later. I'm gonna tighten this side up, and we'll start working on the passenger side. To be quite honest, <laughs> I might actually do the rear 
tomorrow off camera or something. I'll probably start it today, but I know it's just gonna be so much work. Looking forward to it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna continue on. Sweet. Everything's all tightened up. I'm gonna pop the wheel back on, cycle it with the jack, and see kind of where it sits for ride height. So, time lapse. <laughs> where it's gonna sit yeah I think this is gonna work out I didn't hear anything binding when I jacked it up and I'm gonna check the sway bar clearance and everything and make sure that we're all good so I'm gonna tighten all everything up and then I'm gonna eat lunch come back to the other side I uh, won't really show you guys that maybe just a quick time-lapse of that and then we'll move on to the back Thing is trashed. Sway bar out and the top of the shock is disconnected. So they're dangling. Now we have to come in and get ready. There's four of these big bolts. There's one up there. Um, yeah, these big guys gotta come out. There's some brackets up there that are some 15 mil bolts that have to come out and then support the diff with the jack, let it all down a little bit, and then pull the coils out from their perches and throw them away because I'm not going to need them anymore because the Ride Tech kit converts it to a coil over instead of this stupid setup which is coil here, shock here. Makes a lot of noise. Shocks are out. Um, next, I gotta get the subframe lowered down to get the coils out. I'm having a thought because the subframe is an absolute bitch to reline. So I'm wondering if I can just cut those coils in half, take them out in two pieces. Because realistically, I'd get the Ride Tech shock in there without the subframe, you know, having to move. I just have to compress the shock to get it on its top mount. That might be an option. Maybe we'll do that instead. Anyway, I think I'm gonna take a break because I'm getting pretty beat, so maybe we'll do that first. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut the springs. <laughs> Super janky, but I'm not gonna tip put these pieces of crap back in here, so yeah. Snippy snippy. A <laughs> little bit of grinding and cutting and it'll save me like probably three hours of wrestling with the subframe. Okay, I can't find my actual uh, like safety glasses, so I'm gonna have to 
resort to the welder's mask. Um, yeah, got everything set up. Just looking for the tripod. And then we're gonna let the sparks fly. Let's cut these bitches out. Subframe doesn't have to come out. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so happy. Oh yeah. Come out of here, you dirty prick. This is my level of caring about these coils. <laughs> oh, that went like flawlessly. This is gonna save me so much time. I'm so happy. Tech tip, if you're lowering the Mustang with Ride Tech suspension and you don't care about the coils that are in it, just cut them old school. <laughs> Save yourself a big headache later. All right, I'm gonna go do the other side. I'll give you guys some more spark action and then uh, I'll come back recording when we're putting the coilovers together. Mission successful. <laughs> All right, let's go assemble ourselves some Ride Tech coilovers. Um, what I have to do though first is get these little guys off. So I'm gonna grab my torque set. Anyway, this is more efficient. ever wonder if your spring is the right side up just look for the lettering it's pretty easy take a little snap ring top repeat that snapping into place <laughs> and uh, there you go I'll assemble the other one and we'll get these going on the car Okay, the, uh, the plate is drilled and we're ready to put the nut certs in the body. And then once that's done, we'll move over to the other side, drill the other one, and then we'll throw the shocks on and then we will be done. No, after bolting up the sway bar and all that stuff. Anyway, we're getting close. Just like that, the coilovers are in. They're not in the hole, but they're in. That's what she said. All right, time to relocate the rear sway bar, button that all up, 
and then get the friggin' wheels on this, get it out on the ground, see where the ride height's at. And then we're gonna leave the tuning of that, unfortunately, for tomorrow after work because I'm running out of time. I gotta start getting ready. And uh, it's gonna be a week long ordeal. I gotta kinda get the ride height set, get everything tuned, make, make sure everything stays tight, um, get all the set screws in, and then obviously I gotta get it aligned before I leave work on Thursday. But here's the fun part. The next episode is gonna be a two part episode. So we will have two weeks in a row of uh, basically what I'm doing for my birthday. And uh, you're just gonna have to wait and see. So I'm gonna button everything up and I'll give you guys the glory moment when we uh, put it down on the ground. tech suspension is in. There's a few little odds and ends to do. I gotta put the adjustment caps on the front. Um, obviously put it down, see where the ride height's at, do all that stuff. It's really late. I have a massive migraine and I need to go to sleep. So unfortunately there's gonna be some stuff happening off camera, but the next time you see the verdict, it'll be properly set up, ready for the road again and uh, hopefully all the squeaky clunkiness is gone. Look for updates on my Instagram and stuff like that to see what happens with it this week and uh, you know what it's like on the road. I'll be catching up with you guys next week when we're off in the States celebrating my birthday. Kat and I are going on a road trip. I'll bring the GoPro along and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun. I really, really sincerely thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for sticking with me through the break. Remember, if you want to win the Hoonigan Speedometer, be one of the first thousand subscribers. Remember, I'll ship it to wherever you're at, and I want to see it in your project car. So, that being said, please like this video, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, be my friend on Facebook. Like I say always, you can roll the dice with that one. Check out Porsche Center Langley for some of my other cool work, and uh, I'll see you guys on the road. <laughs>